how to remove and replace the Chevy Bowtie emblem on the front of a Chevy Silverado 2015 truck. So I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is, and the simple answer, if you live in the Orange County, California area, you can simply call me, autofetishdetail.com, and I'll come out and do it for you. The bad news is, is that it's not as easy as you might think. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and you've done lots of do-it-yourself projects, yes, you can do it. If you are a beginner or a novice and you really are kind of handy with your hands, but not overly handy with tools, I do not recommend it. The traditional way is to go through the top. I actually found a back door, which is underneath the truck. Your hand's gonna get chewed up, but there is a way to do it. So follow along. I wish I had some better news for you, and I wish I could film it for you, but it was literally up underneath the truck, so I was really limited on my ability to film it and really teach you how to do it yourself. Just know it can be done. You can order factory replacements, so it's OE, which stands for Original Equipment, rather than try to plastic dip it, paint it, whatever you want. Here we have the center grill uh, bow tie emblem that I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna have to access it through the engine bay my guess is because this is the first time that i've done it that i'm gonna have to remove this cover <laughs> okay do not underestimate the power of determination and a resolved mind so if you can't go in one way as a rule there's always a back door almost always in this case i found a back door so check this out the stock obvious answer is to go through the top, which is what I concluded myself. But as I started disassembling this, it became this perpetual ripple effect. One screw, one fastener led to another. And then I had to try to dissect this grill. I realized that this grill is all one piece because I was able to get this to separate, but I noticed that it was still attached to this because this inner piece is separate from this outer trim piece my hope was is that somehow this top piece could be removed and then I could have access behind the emblem and release the uh, fasteners that was not the case because it became this hole that kept getting deeper and deeper and darker and darker and I'm like oh no I'm in trouble so then I decided to crawl up underneath the truck and that's where the back door is and I'm not going to take you in. I'm just going to say that I was able to get up from underneath, release the fasteners without damaging the grill. I simply put this back in place to take a before and after picture. So voila. Now I can simply snap it into place. And wait for it. Wait for it. Ba-bam. Completion. Not a single scratch or scuff or crack or anything on this grill we have folks perfection now i can move on to the back of the truck and remove the bow tie i'm going to send a picture to my customer first because i know and this is for you detailers out there that he is anxiously anticipating a text from me because i told him from the beginning i do not know if i will be able to do this i took a risk in coming here because like I said, every model year is a case by case. I almost called him and said, I can't do it. And then it's just like, wait a minute, Darren, come on, dude, you do not accept defeat. There's gotta be a way here. So that's when I thought, okay, where's the back door to this moment? Where's the workaround? So I found it, we have success. So thumbs up, I'm gonna send him a picture so he can rest a little easier because this was the big tipping point as to whether I would move forward or stop and drive away empty-handed. So fortunately, I will not be driving away empty-handed today. Now it is one thing to remove an emblem, which I have many, many videos. It's another thing entirely to actually replace an emblem. And you think it's as a matter of peeling the back of this and sticking it on? Well, trust me when I say there's many variables. This is a little more straightforward because I'm putting exactly the same identical emblem on it. This has been plastic dipped He did not like the results of it. Then he found out that you can get an OE, which stands for Original Equipment, from uh, the dealership. So he went ahead and purchased one. 
So I replaced the front, now it's time for the back. What I've done is I've put my markers in place so that when it times to realign this, because there's no pins that go through the sheet metal, so literally I could get it crooked and then I'm screwed and not in a good way. I don't want that. So I put these aligning tapes so I know exactly from edge to edge, top to bottom, exactly where this is gonna fit. Why? Because we're always after for perfection, right? And yes, perfection is subjective and rarely attainable. Sorry to burst your bubble. Let me bring you back down to reality land. But in these cases, customer is going to expect perfection. I myself expect perfection because I know I can attain it. But you have to take the necessary steps. The difficult part about these bigger emblems is there's so much double-sided tape and it just makes it that much more difficult to deal with. And what I did do is I allowed this to sit in the sun while I was working on the front. So it kind of gave me a head start as far as heating up. To see even my 25 pound test is proving that this is a formidable opponent. Really at this point I could grab this edge and I could start lifting, but my fear is that as I lift this up, it will prop this corner into the paint. And here you can see just how extensive this double-sided tape is. So I removed the adhesive, I cleaned it up, and yes, I did it without scratching for all those that question my other videos where I'm rubbing it with a paper towel. What you don't have privilege to is you have no idea how much pressure I'm applying to it. So you can go about a risky situation as risky as you want, or you can go about it in a less risky way. So I always manage my risk. Here's the new emblem, I cleaned it. They actually include an alcohol uh, wipe but I carry my own alcohol with me, so I pre-cleaned it. I'm just going to check positioning and verify that it really is exactly the same dimensions, which it is. So what I did is I knew that this line here was positioned so that it was exactly parallel with this emblem. So that if Johnny Customer uh, came out and said, hey, Darren, it looks like this emblem's not exactly like this, it, which I already, which I already verified anyways, because that's the difficult part in putting on emblems is which character line or embellishment do you line it up with? Because this tailgate latch may not actually be perfectly parallel with another character line, and so if you line this up with this only to realize that this is not lined up with this, and then when you pull back for a bigger, broader perspective, and Johnny Customer now has a very critical eye, and he says, hey, Darren, it kinda looks like it's crooked, and I look, and it's like, oh, you know what? Actually, this is crooked to begin with. So in that case, what do you do? Do you line it up with this, or do you line it up with everything else that's not crooked? That's why this can become difficult and problematic and appear to be easier than it really is. I already checked that out. I did a visual inspection before I started removing this because I want to make sure that this in fact was lined up and centered because trust me, I've seen when it comes to cars, anything goes. Old school it, line up and just hover, check all four alignment points and get closer and closer. I'm slowly squeezing my emblem to the truck and ba bam Exactly, 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 exactly. Now at this point, I can simply remove my guidelines. 
if you are in the Orange County, California area, or you're willing to drive, because I have people that find me on YouTube and they drive one, two hours to come and have me do this for them. So if you're looking for this level of attention and perfection, then give me a holler and we'll make arrangements and get you dialed in.